Hey kids, Inverted Cow here. Welcome back to Scrap Mechanic. Let's jump back into the game. Okay, we're in. And let's see what kind of trouble we can get into today. Uh, between episodes, I've done a lot of grinding. Um, not really a lot of production, but a lot of grinding. Uh, <clears throat> and I am currently out of resources to be processed. Um, I didn't ask for your opinion. I'm down to very few of just some basic stuff. I've got some basic metal and that's about it. Uh, I'm working on is building uh, tier 3 wood as you saw there uh, for a Basically, I want to build a large boat. Uh, that's going to be my first major actual proper real build. Uh, I want to build is a large boat because I want to find a way to travel around, but not just a little, you know, here I can travel from here to there, like I have with my little dinghy boat here in the corner. I mean, I want a boat, the whole base, the whole production facility, my quarters, um, everything that is not required for the farm itself on the boat. I'll leave the little workshop here, but I'll take the fabrication bot and everything else. And I'd like to see if I can find a way to get Shorty's, um, Shorty's pub here to, to float as well, uh, which is kind of something I would still want to try to do. <clears throat> but, there's that. So I have to, uh, I basically, I need to go and pick up a little bit of everything. Uh, and I figured I'll show you a few things that I have going on here. Uh, this overpass. First, I, I realized I'm constantly going that way towards the mechanic station, towards, oops, oh, I just pulled on my earphones. Uh, towards all the, the, things that are over there. So from this position, going up here just to turn and drive along that shoreline is not exactly productive. So I, I do want to do is relocate this bridge. And what I've done here is I have um, basically just taken some scrap. Can I make that? I can't make that jump. Try that. Oh. Some days I can do that jump, other days I can't do that jump. Okay. What I've done is I've taken some scrap and I've basically expanded it across uh, as far as I can. I mean, I can probably carry it a little bit further. I don't, haven't connected it to anything. This is actually just kind of free floating on one piece of debris over there. But I wanted to get an idea where it would come out over here. I want to land it basically on this flat chunk of real estate here and I'm going to move it just a touch this way um, but I want to basically have it come out right here and then I want to do eventually is build a second uh, overpass from here about where this corner is actually right before you have to go around this tree with the with the trenches in it and carry it over basically straight across the water here to that side because the mechanic station is literally right there. That's the chemical station. Um, that's a lot of resources that is right there. And I'm slowly mining all the rock. Like I've mined out basically all the rock over here with the exception of just a little bit over by... Okay. Um, I wanted to show you also um, my my little sawmill here that I've been using. Um, w for down. There we go. Again, I don't know if I can make this jump. I'm gonna try. Oh, it's gonna get worse. <laughs> okay, if I drop this, is it gonna fall off the edge again? Okay. 
the sawmill is basically is fairly straightforward and simple. Uh, what I have going on here is four little roller bearings that are just attached to wheels. Uh, I extended it actually out a little bit further. I think I've made a fifth one uh, or fourth. I had three, I put on four. Uh, they're separated by the length of a standard length of log. So if I cut a log, that's how long it is. Uh, so it won't fall in the floor. It will catch on these wheels. And then I put these rollers down here, which kind of help everything roll in. These are all uh, loosely set on bearings. Uh, there is a couple that are powered by a controller. And the whole thing is actually powered by controllers. This I turned this into a bearing engine. Uh, there's basically there's a bearing, a bearing, a bearing, and a bearing. So this blade spins just slightly slower than these three, but these three blades all spin quickly. And as I said, some of these rollers uh, spin as well. So as you can see, they that's to help feed any little chunks and pieces in. It uses no fuel. And now that they have fixed the weld uh, device on the tree trunks again, what I can do is not get hooked on the edge. Thank you. What I do is I will set this out in the in the bush where I'm working, and then I just weld a tree to that little concrete block, break the concrete block, drops the tree, put the concrete block back, go grab another tree. Uh, and by the time it's done, by the time I get back with another tree, it's ground up the one that I'm there. So uh, it processes pretty quick. There is a refiner bot on there as well. And I have space to put some of the uh, collection, uh, the resource collectors around that bot to pick it up. I also can do is go grab another <clears throat> I can do is I can grab this guy and bring him over as well and I can have two uh, two refiner bots working if I'm working on a large area because what I'll do is I'll do it next to stone and then I can drill the stone as well as cut down the trees so there's that now that's up to date on all the stuff that's happening here um, what I want to try to do today as you noticed, I had a whole bunch of produce in my inventory. I have more produce back at the tr uh, trade station. Um, and I need to remember to grab the vacuum pump. <laughs> my contraption is over at the fruits uh, station and I have to make a couple of vacuum pumps and unfortunately I don't have the resources to do it. I wanted to make uh, two, three more vacuum pumps here. So I'm gonna cannibalize this one for the time being. So I'm going to jump into the old tank here and we're gonna head over to the uh, produce packing station and we're going to drop off some produce and get it all bundled up. So I'll pick it up when we get over to the uh, produce plant here. Okay, we're at the packing station. Uh, I spent the night and I set up the uh, set up another contraption here to offload produce. Um, from what I'm seeing, that the produce will always need. I will very rarely have any demand for carrots at all. Broccoli, I'm going to need for the spud gun. Uh, one of the spud guns. Um, and I think that's about it. I, I don't really see a big demand for broccoli after that point. Beets are needed for uh, fertilizer, so I will always need beets. And uh, tomatoes, I think, the only thing I can get with tomatoes, I think, is saw blades. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to come back here. i got to make some more of these vacuum pumps. Uh, and I'm going to come back here and I'm going to just put down two vacuum pumps for tomatoes and uh, beets. And then if I need to use it for the carrots or the, the broccoli, I can just add it on. Uh, but unless they add more to the um, trader, 
then there's really no like there's really not much use for the uh, for the produce after you have gotten the guns. Uh, it's more or less just a matter of making what you need for your food, and I'm still making the uh, burgers for my basic food, which is tomatoes and potatoes. You know, so those are the only two real crops I will ever have to grow at all. Uh, I made it to the top of the tree. There is a beehive about part way up. That's a pain in the butt to get into, uh, but it is there. Uh, other than that, there's really nothing up that tree, uh, and it's just, it's a royal pain in the took us to see anything because it's so, so dark. Uh, like the leaves, the, the, the foliage on there is just so ridiculously heavy that you can't see anything. Now I have brought a few loads of stuff up to the trader to this point. So as soon as I get up the hill here, I will pick it up and we'll get ready to drop everything off. So I'll be right back once we get the old tractor up the hill. Okay, we're at the trader's place and let's have a look at what we have to drop off. <laughs> yes, that's right. I've got some produce here. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how much I have, but if we talk to uh, Dingle Nuts here, I'm currently sitting with two oranges and four tomatoes and four carrots and six uh, farmer guys. Um, the farmer guys, I bring them back every time I do a loot run because there's one out in the bush that I can find. There's actually two I found out in the bushes. Um, so let's pick this thing up and see what we have. And that was the last of them. Hello. We have 11 bananas, seven blueberries, four oranges, 12 beets, nine tomatoes, four carrots, and six farmers. So that's enough to get us a few things. One thing in particular absolutely must need is a spud gun. <laughs> I want is a couple more of these Uh, you're welcome. All right, a couple more of those and at least one more of them. Now I could just do is grab the rest in fertilizer. I'm tempted to grab one more of these. Ah, oh, what the heck, it never hurts. Because as I said, the only thing I'm going to use tomatoes for is the saw blades. And I mean, realistically, there's not much need for that. I mean, it's a good way to save on some metal if I need it, uh, and I have a spare blade if I would ever need one. I will never need another seed that he sells. Like, I have, I'm, I'm throwing these in the ocean already, just with my harvesting. The only other thing I need is the fertilizer, so we're just going to grab a bunch of them, whatever I had of in fertilizer. <clears throat> And that's it. So I, w I do want to pick up more of the mountable spud guns later on down the road. So now we're looking at our inventory. We now have the spud gun. And one, two, three, four, five, six, I believe. Six mounted spud guns. Uh, that should do us for arming a couple of things. One of the things I am going to do uh, later on is I'm actually going to put a couple on the back bumper here attached to sensors because I'm constantly, constantly, constantly getting these stupid haybots chasing the back of this thing like a bunch of lost puppies. And as you can see, I'm always taking damage on the corners and the edges. Uh, yeah, if they want to chase the trailer, 
then they can chase the trailer and they can get smacked. Okay, now the next thing on our list is I need um, a warehouse key. Not going to be anything fancy or blunt about it. I need a warehouse key. And I happen to know exactly where to get some. Now I know that those red, the big red farm bots take a full clip of ammunition. So a, fi a 50 stack of ammo to kill. Uh, actually, let's leave this in that crate. That's for my other stuff. So I have been grinding uh, potatoes fairly consistently. Four clips of ammunition and 35. <clears throat> now from here, we will pull back out around this thing. Now I am just going to drive the tractor over there. I mean, this is my general use vehicle. Uh, it's the only thing I ever do with it is does all my salvaging, all my scavenging. It's rather, it's got quite a good amount of low end power and when it's empty it's actually got quite a good amount of high end power <laughs> um, I could probably shed a few pounds by changing the armor plating off the front and back of it now to something a little bit lighter because with the trailer I don't need the back plating as much and with the front I don't need the front plating because I've got the the big bush bumper on there with the two cargo crates. But if I take that bush bumper off, it definitely loses a lot of weight. So <clears throat> we're gonna head over to a nice little hunting ground and we're gonna go see about getting ourselves a warehouse key. Okay, we're almost here. Uh, driving through uh, forests at night is not one of my favorite things, <laughs> uh, but I have to basically follow the shoreline uh, around here from the mechanic station and it leads me right to this burned ember forest um, now it's just first thing in the morning and it's just starting to come up on dawn now I came here once before because I needed ember and this is closer than the one that I normally go to and I encountered um, the the zone of farm bots, the big red monster farm bots in here. Now I had no ammunition, <laughs> so I was going to quickly borrow some building material from this chest and. You'll pretend that you didn't see inside that chest because you'll find out what that, that is for later. Now, I'm going to go in the rest of the way on foot. Thankfully, there's just the one. Oh my goodness. Last time I did this, I came over this hill because I was smashing ember. And I came over this hill and literally right in this little valley was four of them. Now, there's another one there. There's a third one. <clears throat> so now the reason I brought this is one, they have a attack that they do where they charge. And I'd rather not uh, if I can avoid it, I'd rather not be hit by that attack. Oh, I hate building on this game. So I'm just going to put a couple little walls up like this. So I am protected from behind by their charge attack. Oops. And then we're just going to come up a little bit. And 
give ourselves a bit of a cover, if you will. From their acid bomb, hopefully, from their acid bomb attack. I'm hoping to catch them all down in this little hill there. Now the question is, can I hit any of them from here? So satisfying. Oh, <laughs> that is so satisfying. <sighs> Probably doesn't help that it's like 20 degrees in the house right now, but my hands are sweating. <laughs> Please step away from the rock face. Got me with her acid shot. Oh, that was dirty pool. <laughs> How are we doing on shots here? I literally have 38 more rounds of ammunition. There's still one more over there that I know of, and possibly another one, and I have to go get more ammo. I'm not going to fight him up here in my duck blind uh, without. So I'm just going to quickly run down, grab some ammunition, and see if I can loot that crap that's down there. Thought it took 50 rounds, but I guess I'm, I mean, like I'm probably hitting trees and, and debris and targets and goodness knows what all over the place here. these as well. Well, Spud should be in that target there. There we go. Thank you. I have three more rounds of ammunition. Okay, one more try. Okay, I don't see Mr. Happy number three there, which worries me, but I really need to get these components and stuff before they despawn. Thank you. 
Okay, I know there's at least one more for sure, possibly two in this area, but I believe it would be a bit of a fool's errand to just go hunting them uh, with my current equipment loadout. Um, let's not get lost and go the wrong way. Head towards the water and you'll be fine. <clears throat> now I will come in here later with a proper vehicle for dealing with these uh, jokers um, and the, the equipment needed to do something. Now I'm going to go up there and take down my duck blind because I do want that material for something else. But now we know that this works uh, very well. I do need to spend a good portion of some time collecting ember, but today is not that day. Our next stop is the warehouse. Um, now, I know where one is that we have driven up towards a few times. I haven't actually driven to it, mainly because, um, well, I'm ill-equipped to deal with tape bots uh, prior to now. Unfortunately, what I have to do now is I have to go, once again, uh, completely around this forest, or through this forest, to get back out onto the main road. So uh, I probably got the better part of another day or night now. <laughs> it's already one o'clock in the afternoon uh, to get back there. So I'll pick it up when I get close to the warehouse. Okay, kids, we have now reached the farthest I have explored uh, from my base. Uh, this shack here was the last shack I tore down. Now, last time I come up here and I started tearing these shacks down, I started seeing a red guy walking around in the hills over here. And yeah, I was driving that, the first version of this uh, piston engined vehicle, which wasn't exactly either powerful or fast. This one is neither fast or maneuverable but it does have a little bit of stopping power and a bit of mass behind it. Um, so I figured we would continue the next phase of our journey, <laughs> but I'd have the record software on just in case we have any unforeseen circumstances. Uh, there's the warehouse. It is four layers high. Um, as I understand that is actually how many floors are inside of it. And honestly, this is as close as I have ever, uh, ever gotten. Like this is all completely unexplored, untraversed territory. I haven't been anywhere near any of this area here uh, prior to this point. Now, at some point, I will make a uh, exploration vehicle. This is this is more of a work vehicle. This is like this does all the work. <laughs> uh, it hauls all the stuff. It carries all the goods. It transports everything. It is not really a good exploration vehicle simply because it's not very fast. Um, 
Now, my big concern is, of course, is that my frames are going completely tank in this warehouse. Um, some people have mentioned that they can't do warehouses, especially if they're running a potato calculator as powerful as mine, because it becomes a literal uh, just uh, garbage fest, if you will. Uh, zero frames and complete frame drops and everything. So we're at the front door. <clears throat> I have potatoes, I have spud gun, I have hammer, I have tape box. I need to get used to the performance of this <laughs> this spud gun. Ow. Hey, no shooting me back. What's the rule? Thankfully, I'm not having the issue that some people were where these things are complete aimbots, where they have 100% accuracy on the first shot, which is nice. Um, I am going to literally loot everything while I'm here. Not while I'm hunting, but... That's a bad guy. That's a bad guy. I don't know where he is, but I hear him. I <clears throat> uh, don't hit the wall. Okay, that should hopefully keep getting ambushed. I know that they can jump. I know that they can shoot poison. And I know that there are tape bots in the area that are still a threat that I have to be aware of. So the idea here is to just basically give myself enough cover that he can't jump on my head and stab me from above, hopefully. And that I can snipe out some of the uh, other jerks in the area. Okay, hello dude. Please come where I can hit you. Please come where I can shoot you, if you don't mind. Dude. Excuse me, young fella, can you please step back just a touch? I'm not at all nervous, worried, or scared. Not in the slightest. 
I am standing literally inches away from a giant bot in an armored box, shooting him in the head with potatoes. Dude, if I was smart and I remembered to bring explosives, I'd set one down near you and see if I could detonate it. I don't know if that's your hitbox or the hitbox of this crate. Yeah, 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 relax, relax. I'm just talking to one of your friends. Dude, would you... Tote bot, that's a little tote bot. that little tape bot go that I saw. Listen, you can make that explodey sound any time now because I'm running awful low on ammunition. I saw a tape pot kicking around here and I don't want to have to mess with that. Ooh, ooh. Oh, come back, come back. Oh, don't go away mad. Oops, don't lose your head, dude. Look, I realize I'm hanging out where you can't shoot me, but you can you please not hang out where I can't shoot you? That'd be that'd be swell. There's a hole between those two crates. <clears throat> Probably something good to be aware of. <laughs> not sure why, but it uh, might want to be helpful to know before you go walking into combat with something that's like a giant scythe wheeling gas spraying angry robot of destruction and despair here <clears throat> dude dude just please step where I can get a clean shot at you please just a couple more hits I promise it won't hurt much. Okay, that one definitely counted. <laughs> Got him. He's dead. Haha, -ha, boss guy dead here. Okay. Tear some of this down. Cover some of these materials. Now we still have some tape bots to take care of. And I might leave this bunker partially intact. Because I don't know if I might want to have to get back up here again. Okay, tote bot over there. Oh, hitbox on that. One tape bot down.
Come here, Zippy. Hi. Oh, you're such a cute little puppy. Yes. Please excuse me, but I'm hunting bad things. Things that want to kill me. For some reason, they want to do me harm. I don't know why. I want to grab some ammunition here real quick. Okay, I've grabbed a couple more rounds of ammunition, and we're going to head back in. I'm sorry, it's already nighttime here. We haven't even made it through the front door. I don't know what I just shot, but I shot something. I think it was just a box. That's good, cow. You just wasted two rounds of ammunition on a box. Oh, very nice. It has a beat. Okay, this is a storage yard. Lots of tote bots kicking around here. Well, the good news is we have made it to the front door. Warehouse key has been inserted. Elevator has been called. So that's going to do it for today, kids. Uh, next episode, we see what lays beyond these mighty doors. Thanks all for watching, and good night for now.